those students who are scoring less than 250 in their mock test right now that is going to be the first category of students second category of students who are scoring almost almost 450 in their mock test right now third category of students who are right now scoring almost almost 600 in their mock test and final category of students the ones who did not start their preparation yet are the ones who have just completed like five to seven percent of their syllabus but want to prepare for the NEET 2025 examination want to crack this particular examination with a good score so in this particular session i'm going to cover all these categories of students i let you know one-on-one -on -one what you need to do right to overcome everything and what you need to follow for the upcoming seven months so as to crack the NEET examination with an amazing score right so let's get going let's get started one-on-one -on -one, and let's try to know what all things you have to keep into consideration i would want you guys to be with me till the end right because the whole session is going to be very 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 important for all of you so my dear students here i've got the first three type of the students here i've classified right first three types of the students the one scoring less than 250 in the mock test right now the one scoring almost 450 and the one scoring almost 600. Now, first of all, if you do not know, if you have not written any mock tests till now, my dear students, I would recommend you guys to write one mock test. Of whatever chapters you have covered, write one mock test of those chapters. From there only, you'll get to know exactly where, in which category you actually fall into. And in the comment section of this particular video, let me know exactly in which category you fall into, right? And at the same time, the session PDF of this particular session, I'll be sharing on my Telegram, which is Vaseem But Chemistry Official, right? You can join the Telegram group on which I keep on updating all the things, all the session PDFs, all the DPPs, right? Every single thing I keep on sharing in that particular Telegram group, which is Vaseem But Chemistry Official. So my dear students, the first category, right? The ones who are scoring less than 250 in their mock test right now. As per my experience, the ones who are scoring less than 250 at this point of point time, my dear students, there are two things which are coming into my mind. Number one, you have got weak basics. Your foundation is not strong. Number two, you are not able to do calculations wisely. You are not able to do calculations fastly. So my dear students, you need to overcome these two things first. You have to make your basics strong. You have to make your foundation strong. And you have to make your calculations strong at the same time. Now, how can you make your a foundation? How can you make your basics strong? My dear students, for that, I would highly recommend you to follow the lectures on priority, right? Whatever lectures you are following, wherever you are following, wherever you are studying, does not matter, right? Whatever lectures, whosoever is training you, just follow the lectures properly, right? By not following the lectures properly, your basics is not up to the mark. So you need to cover your basics first. You need to make it strong by focusing more on the lectures. Now, what does that mean, focusing more on the lectures? My dear students, while watching a lecture, whatever question your teacher is doing in the session you need to try those questions again at after the session ends right you need to solve those questions again by not seeing the solution at that particular point of time right so what is the lecture first whatever question your teacher is giving you is solving in the class right solve the same set of questions again afterwards without seeing the solution that is one way of making your basics strong that's how that's one way of making your problem approach strong that is very 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 important at the same time you have to focus on the high weightage chapters and i'm pretty much sure you already know what are the high weightage chapters when it comes to your physics chemistry and biology my dear students in order to make your calculation strong you need to solve more and more dpps more and more pyqs by solving more and more questions there is no trick to the calculations first of all right you can make your calculations strong only by solving more and more questions from your dpps whatever you're getting right from the PYQs of the last 5 to 10 years of the need, right? And if you do not have the access to DPPs, you need to follow my Telegram channel on which I keep on sharing the DPPs, right? Regular, regular basis, uh, so that you can try those DPPs out. Perfect. And what is going to be the sequence of the things which you will be doing while covering a chapter? My dear students, the sequence is going to be follow the lectures, solve the same questions again. After that, go for the DPPs. Once you are done with the DPP of the chapter, then go for the PYQs. And once you are done with the last five year need PYQs, then go for the mock test. This is the sequence of the things which you have to follow over here. And I'm 100% confident, I'm pretty much sure if you follow this particular sequence, you are easily going to jump your score from 250 to 600 plus for sure, 
right? Just follow this practice for upcoming one month and eventually you'll see the results. So this was the category one. And I would recommend you guys, I would recommend you guys to follow the Game of Need 2.0 series because the lectures are very, very, very detailed. All the theory, all the problem patterns, every single thing we discuss in detail, right? One day, one chapter we complete and the session duration, you know, that is 10 to 12 hours. Perfect. So I would recommend you guys to follow the Game of Need 2.0 to make uh, to make a jump from 250 to 600 plus for sure. Second category of students, the ones who are scoring almost almost 450 in their mock tests at this particular point of time. My dear students, as per my experience, basics is comparatively clear, right? But not up to the mark. Perfect. So you also need to focus a little more on basics, a little more on basics because you know, in your neat examination, in one question, only one concept will be asked, right? That way you're safe. In one question, there won't be more than one concepts asked. Perfect. So for that purpose, you need to make your basics completely strong. The main problem which I feel you guys are getting right now, that is going to be the problem in the time management. So my dear students, you have to focus on this particular skill because neat examination is not only about the syllabus completion. It's about managing time in those three hour 20 minutes, right? And how can you manage time, right? For managing time, first of all, more revisions are required to those particular chapters which are already covered. Those chapters which you have already covered, they need more revisions, my dear students, so that, so that you can remember each and every theoretical point, so that you can remember the problem patterns which can be asked from a particular chapter. So time management can be, uh, can be made proper by giving more revisions to those chapters which are already covered, number one. Number two, I believe this is something which you are missing, right? This is something which you are not doing. You are not solving NCRT in text and exercise questions, right? This is again one more important point which you have to take into consideration. Solve the NCRT in text as well as NCRT exercise questions of all the chapters which you have already covered, okay? Now, how can time management be more and more precise by writing more and more mock tests? For example, till now, after completing a chapter, you are writing one mock test of that chapter. Instead of one, write two now, okay? And see the difference. By writing more and more mock tests, you get the idea about the time management for sure, right? And by writing more and more mock tests, you get to solve more and more questions as well. Perfect. So this is something which is going to give you, right, the clear picture of the time management. So instead of writing one chapter-wise mock test, write two instead. Perfect. And see the difference in the upcoming one month. And I'm pretty much sure you're going to overcome this phobia of time management for sure, right? And for you guys, you are supposed to write you're supposed to solve the PYQs of not only NEAT, the PYQs of JE mains as well you'll be solving, right? At least, at least, last five year PYQs of JE mains and NEAT you're supposed to solve and I'm pretty much sure people, you can do it easily, right? And now, those students who are already getting almost, almost 600 in their mock tests, what exactly you need to do? First of all, the ones who are getting 600 almost in their tests at this particular point of time, that clearly tells me your basics is clear, it's up to the mark. There are some slight issues in the time management due to which you cannot, you're not able to, uh, I mean, scale up your score from 600 to 700. Now, what all things you need to do to shoot up your score from 600 to 700? There are few points which you have to take into consideration. One thing, guys, at least solve 100, 100 mock tests before writing, before entering into the NEED 2025. Before entering into the NEED 2025 examination, my dear students, you have to solve almost, almost 100 mock tests. Every mock test contains 200 questions, right? And 100 mock tests, you know, these are 20,000 questions. So you're solving 20,000 questions by writing mock tests only. Imagine your level of preparation, how it's going to, how much it's going to shoot up after writing 100 mock tests before entering into the NEED 2025 examination, right? Now, number two, in order to shoot up your ranks, you have to cover the theory from NCRT as well. I know you are doing the lectures properly, but Follow the theory of NCRT as well. Follow the NCRT index questions as well. Follow the NCRT exercise questions as well. Do not skip a single thing if you really want to be close to 700, right? And that's not it. My dear students, I believe you're only solving the neat PYQs. You're not supposed to only solve the neat PYQs. You're supposed to solve the J mains PYQs as well. That too from past 10 years almost. Last 10 years, J mains as well as the neat PYQs, I would recommend you guys to solve, right? And Please and please focus on this particular point as well. You need to give proper time to make formula sheets of every subject, short notes, right? 
and you need to focus on your NCRT at the end. And I believe if you follow this particular process, you can easily jump from, uh, if you are scoring 580, from 580, you can jump to 680 for sure, right? So these were the first three sets of the students. And I believe you got to know what all things you need to keep into consideration if you want to crack this particular examination with an amazing score.